Here we got a question from a young Pee Wee hockey player. What goes through a goaltender's mind during a penalty shot? Got to be tough, huh? Well, if Al McGinnis is shooting the penalty shot, it could be the puck. Welcome to Canada, Ontario for this game today. Hi everybody, Tim Kitcher along with Harry Tynowitz. We've got a great game coming for you today, so stick around. Put in your mouth, guards. The puck is about to drop. Eisen gets the puck on the draw. The puck stolen by White. Turned over. Fed to Shanahan. Through center. A shot! Save! Now to decision. Turned over. A pick by White. Eisen with the puck. Go! Shanahan! Gets the first goal of the game. What a blast. I mean, he just teed that up and let her rip. And there was no goalie past or present who's going to stop that shot. Knighty. Now Alfredson. The shot saved by Hassan. Mariano. He went to Datsu. He gets the play by Alfredson. Datsu! Holmstrom! He knocks by the lead. Alfred picks up the puck. Snap caught him looking the other way. The shot misses. Alfred brings the puck up ice. Fresh stop by Smolinski. Moves to Schneider. Dat Gets it up ice. Datsu! Now Liriano. Man down. Take a seat, Chuck. Yes! The win now lead by two. What a goal! Shanahan. He moves it ahead. It's it. The Rick get another. This is just a world-class shot. I mean, when you're talking about 100 miles per hour, it becomes a guessing game for the goalie. What a blast. Surprise, surprise, a fight is broken out. These are two big guys squaring off here. Knight with a good opening flurry. This is a real seesaw battle. Jenny looking to finish him off. Knight would be thankful if team photos were already taken. Passed up by Holmstrom. Schneider in front. Oh, he that. Adding insult to injury here. Well, this is his second tally of the game, and with the way he's playing, you got to think the hats are about ready to get tossed out onto the ice.
White back to Reddick. Did White! Is shot off by Hassett. He sets for to Draper. Nidai. Stick save. The puck by Reddick. He beats the Hosa. White! And the puck is kicked out. Saved again. Fed to Biko. Feeds it ahead. Played off to Williams. Draper! Krushet gets his stick on it. Now with the puck. The puck misses the net. Position. He plays it over. A hard shot. Now William. He feeds up to McCarty. He is guys by Redden. Krushet stopped by McCarty. A hit by White. Up through center. Fired. Stopped by Hassett. He moves it ahead. Passes over. McCarty takes a shot. McCarty is down by Prusak. And he'll hang on for the whistle. They have roared out to a big first period lead. They're just running away with it here. It's not looking very good for the other team right now. Let's get the draw. I guess that's what you call the physical component of the game. Puck to cross ice to Havlat. Comped up. Catcher. Kusha kicks it out. The puck in by Lidstrom. Hull. Knight skating with the puck. Alfred with some nice move. Save! Nikut gets a hold of the rebound. Coughed out. The puck is cleared down. Krushek holds the puck for a whistle. Celio! It goes way wide. Now Holmstrom. The puck by Krushek. Turned over. And that's the end of the period. The Red didn't come to play. They came to dominate. And dominate they have. We're all set for period number two to get underway. White gets the draw. Lurie catches it with his head down. Pulls through. He moves it back. Pucks won by White. He passed puck to Phillips. Has stop by Phillips. He has back to Holmstrom. Clear down the ice. Shot wide. Krushek picks up the puck. He feeds to Hosa. Passed it to Phillips. Turned over. Now move to Hassett. Hassett throws it to Mariano. White yeah. now with the puck. The shot by Hassett. Man down. Hassett passes to Schneider. Lurie takes it. It's a with a score like this, get ready to hear some boos. He doesn't usually score goals, but he really buried that chance. That was a good, good goal. Back. Passed by Hatcher. Iserman! Mugged by Lecision. He sends it over. Man down. Fed to home. Iserman! Lindstrom! Iserman! He passed up to Hatcher. Hatcher fires a blistering shot. Things are really starting to get physical out there. Plays it ahead. Stick save. Krushak. He plays it up. Havlat back to Reddit. Pad save. Shanahan. He sent to Iserman. The second period is about half over. A lot of goals separate these teams. Sit down, son. Boom, baby. Well, going up ice with the puck. He just got caught reading the rink ad. Let's lose the puck over to Hull. Fed up to Iserman. That one rang off the post. Right off the post. Alfred now with it. Plays it through center. How much more of this punishment can they take? Incredible save! A tumbling hit by Hatcher. Now Havlak. Knack knack. Who's there? A big painful body check. Lock pass made to Hull. Pushes the puck over. Alfred gives him a wake-up call. Jumped out. Now Redden. Solid stop! Havlak grabs the rebound. Man down! Split. Now with the puck. Listen! By Hassett. Long made by Eisenman. 
Turned over. Cleared out of the zone. On the touch-up, it's icing. The are having a heck of a middle period. Are they ever? They're kicking the snot out of the other team right now. No. Win the draw. And that's why you keep your heads up, kids. Khrushchev kicks it away. He's going to be feeling that for a while. Ding dong. Scoffed out. Moved up to Mariano. The shot way wide. Riku takes control of the puck. 90. At center. He shoots the puck. The shot saved by Hassan. He moves to, to Detsu. Shot. Crucial. Step. By this. The assault continues. What a pass he made to set up this goal. Just great vision. A great feed and a great finish. Wow. Moved up by Verona. He played up to Arvidsson. We're done with the second period. The ship can warm up the team bus right about now. We're all set for the third period of action. Now to Phillips. Phillips gets possession. Hammered through the glass. Draper. He plays it back. Played back. Sent by William. He passes to Draper. Strip puck by Phillips. Oh, that was really painful. Hassett clears it away. Hassett throws it to Draper. Plays it ahead. Fisher shoots. It's a the Rip know how to start a period. A bad turnover leads to a goal. How many times have we seen this story before? These goals will kill you. Eisen passes to Hatcher. Did you? Let's go. Who's the best? Shanahan! That's it! The red. With one more. He really made the goalie look bad on that one, Tim. He teed it up like he was gonna hit a golf shot, and when the goalie bought the fake, he just took it around him and zipped it home. Just a great goal. Iser brings it up ice. Shannon passes it to Iserman. Iserman! Coughed up. Coughed up. Shanahan! All alone in front. Thrown to Hatcher. Now Hall. Blackstrom! Did anyone get the license plate of that truck? What a hit! The shot block! Red controlling the puck. The puck by Hassan. He plays it up. Big hit by White! A stick save! A shot rings off the post! Lips takes control of the puck. Hassan covers it up and will have a faceoff. The have a big lead here in the third period. Wake me up when this one's over, will ya? To Holmstrom. Pass to, to Schneider. Holmstrom! Larianov! It's blocked! Now Smolinski. And so period three is just about half over. The Ritz are just running away with this game, Harry. Pucks. Aside to Holmstrom. Across. Moves up to Datsu. Good save! A lot of ice pass to Havlat. Rakunik. The puck by Datsu. He moves it over. Holmstrom. He sends to Datsu. That's it by Prusha. Turned over. Turned over. Moved up by Havlat. Now it's center right. The puck by Datsu. He sends to Lariano. Ahead. He takes the shot. The shot by Prusha. 
Deep, deep to Alfredson. Alfredson has stopped by Alfredson. Last He's ended along. In the to zone. Schneider. Thrown to Lariano. A and by Danson. Another save. Oh, baby, what a stop. Coughed up. Now it's to Datsu. Pass back. Let go. Kicked out. Khrushchev throws it to Rakuna. Now Alfredson. Men down. Skating with the puck. Schneider deflected. Alfred comes up with the rebound. Stomped again. Long pass by Datsu. Shot blocked. Denied. Khrushchev sends it to Rakuna. Turned over. Larry up. He's got it. Over to Holmstrom. Chilio. The puck in by Hanidi. Alfred gets it alone. Hasek gets his stick on it. Hasek moves the to Schneider. A kick by Datsu. Khrushchev gets his pad on it. And with that, we'll have a face-off. Hasek has been excellent when called upon tonight. They haven't been able to put one by him, and it doesn't look like they're going to the way he's playing. White is successful on the draw. Now White. Has to return the decision. There's the one-timer. Stick stay. Played over. Coughed up. This game is over. The Rings pummel the Senators. And now, Harry, let's see who our Dodge player of the game is. A real nice game for him tonight. A fight and a goal scored. A great all-round game. We're going to show you the highlight of the nut. Here's the game-winning goal. Shannon got the chance and buried it. Thanks for playing NHL Hits Pro. For Harry Tonowitz, I'm Tim Kittrow saying see you next time, folks. Harry Fan wants to know, why can't you kick a puck into the net? Isn't that harder than shooting it anyway? Yeah, well, you can't kick it in because it's not soccer. It's hockey. You got sticks. So that's yeah. why you can't kick it in. Unfortunately, as a goalie, sometimes I did kick a few in my own net. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, really bad. Welcome to Hockey School. I'm Scotty Bowman, and I'll be your coach for today. In this mode... All right, let's teach you about one of the fundamental skills. Nice hustle. You are really... Skating. All right, skating is a huge, huge part of the game. You have to be able to get ahead of defensemen, get ahead of defensive forwards, and especially in the offensive zone, if you want a scoring chance, you have to be able to, to get ahead of them to get a shot on net, and uh, you have to know when to use it and know when not to use it. You can't waste it all at one time, and make sure you have quick shifts to to be able to keep it all game. Okay, let's talk about using turbo to your advantage in NHL hits. But remember, you only want to use your turbo when it's really going to help you. To win a race to a loose puck, to rush the puck in open ice, or to make some space for yourself. But if you use it all the time, you'll just tire yourself out, so pick your spots. All right, now we're gonna show you how to make a good pass. Use the control stick to aim the direction of the pass. Then press the A button to pass the puck to your teammate with the arrow over his head. Nice passing. Good puck movement. Passing for me as a defenseman is uh, really important to start the offense going and uh, we just Try to make a long, hard pass through forward so they can go the opposite way. All right, let's teach you about wrist shots. Perform a wrist shot by tapping the B button. That's it. Nice release. 
I usually try uh, to use the wrist shot when I want to get the puck off quick. Uh, when you take a big slap shot, there's usually a big wind up and someone can come and, and poke the puck away. And taking a wrist shot, you can use your accuracy a lot better too. You can pick the spots or pick the corners on uh, the goalie. Okay, let's talk about using wrist shots in NHL hits. Wrist shots are most effective when you need to shoot quickly. When a goalie is down and out, you don't want to waste time winding up a slap shot. A good quick wrist shot will not only get the puck to the net more quickly, but with greater accuracy. Okay, now let's show you how to take a slap shot. Press and hold the B button to take a slap shot. Your slap shot will be more powerful if you hold B down longer. That was a great slap shot. Slap shots, uh, they're a very important part of the game too. You know, for me, for being a winger, I, you, know, you have to know when to, get, uh, when to get the slap shot off. It's uh, one of the hardest things for the goalies to stop. If, uh, you know, guys in the league now have hard shots. They're over 100 miles an hour. And, uh, but the one thing about a slap shot is you have to know when to use it because defensemen usually like to poke check and you know, use your stick, you come way up here. It, it takes, sometimes it takes a little time for it to come down and you have to be smart about it. Okay, let's talk about using the slap shot in NHL hits. The more time you have to wind up, the harder your shot will be. Really hard shots can even knock the goalie over. Shoot early and shoot often and you'll have success. Okay, let's teach you how to deke. To avoid a body check, press the Y button to deke your opponent's hit. That was a real slick deke. The deke is a very tough move in hockey. You want to have a lot of speed, and uh, what you want to do is use a lot of head fakes or shoulder fakes and, and try and sell the defenseman one way and, and go the other way. You want to have a lot of speed and you have to have good control of the puck to execute that move. All right, let's talk about how to use the deke in NHL hits. If you're getting knocked down a lot, try using a deke to throw your opponent off. You're much harder to hit when you're spinning, but the trade-off is that you leave yourself vulnerable to a stick check. Dekes are great in one-on-one -on -one situations. All right, now let's learn how to protect the puck. If an opponent tries to poke the puck from your player, press X to do a guard puck. You're really getting the hang of these skills. Protecting the puck is important in both ends of the rink. Red when I'm uh, protecting the puck, I usually try to have the puck closer to my feet and uh, a little bit lower and wider with my legs. It's tougher for the opponent to uh, use their stick and poke the puck away. Now let's talk about guarding the puck in NHL hits. Protecting the puck from stick checks is all about body positioning. Pulling the puck close to your body keeps it away from other players but can leave you open to a big hit. If the puck is always being poked off your stick, try using the guard puck. But keep your head up out there or you're going to lose it. Okay, let's teach you something about player positioning and why it's important. Press the A button to select your teammate closest to the puck. That's it. You're well on your way to learning how to play positional hockey. Being aware of where your teammates are is called having vision. Red Wings defenseman Nick Littstrom plays like he has eyes in the back of his head. It's very uh, important to play your positions right. Uh, if you go out of position, someone's going to be open uh, where you are just left your spot. Uh, Chasing the puck, you can't really do that. You have to stay in positions all the time. Okay, let's see how player positioning is important in NHL hits. Just like in the pros, your team needs to work together to succeed. Players need to stay in position. Most of the time, the player closest to the puck is the one who should be going after it. If everyone chases the puck, things fall apart in a hurry. Stay disciplined. All right, now it's time to learn how to hit. Skate up to the player you want to body check. When you get close enough, press the X button to check him. Wow, you really nailed him. Hitting and intimidation are big parts of the NHL game and require skill, timing, and determination. Red Wings defenseman Nick Lidstrom has all three. 
when I uh, try to body check someone, it's usually for to finish a check or have that player not get back into the play. So you can eliminate that player with a check. You can also uh, intimidate a team when you're making a big hit. If someone comes across uh, the ice with their head down, you can come up with a big hit and, and really set the tone for a game. All right, let's talk about body checking in NHL hits. Players will sometimes try to protect the puck from a stick check by pulling it close to their body. But when they do that, they open themselves up to a big hit. Watch for it and be ready to make them pay. Okay, let's show you how to use the stick check. The purpose of the poke check is to knock the puck away from the opponent using your stick. Positioning and timing are both crucial if you want to do it successfully. That's solid D. Nice job. Stick checks are a key skill for all players, but especially defensemen. Red Wings defenseman Nick Lidstrom can explain the finer points. When I use uh, stick checking or poke checking, I usually try to do it at the blue line, uh, standing up on a player when he's trying to enter the zone. And I try to disguise it with not extending my arm until uh, the right moment. So you have to time it well to, uh, to poke check a player. Here's what to look for when using a stick check in NHL hits. If your opponent keeps dancing around you with fancy deeks, use the stick check to knock the puck away from him. But be careful, pick your spots. If you go fishing and come up with nothing, it usually means the other player has gotten around you. Don't let that happen. Okay, now let's learn about how to take a one-timer. If you do a one-timer, the player who receives your pass will immediately take a shot. Press A to make the pass, and then quickly press B before the puck reaches your teammate. Great one-timer! You're practically a pro already! One-timer can be really important in the game. It's usually tough for the goalie to stop a one-timer because the puck is coming from one side to the other, and the goalie has to move. And if you can get the puck off quick, it's tough for him to stop it. Let me explain how to use a one-timer in NHL hits. The goalies in NHL hits can be pretty tough to beat when they're arrested and have time to position themselves properly. Look to make passes to teammates who are open and in good shooting positions near the net. The one-timer is a real threat because the goalie has to move across the crease and doesn't have time to get set for the shot. All right, now let's look at how to fake a shot. If you want to fake a shot, hold B like you would for a slap shot. At the top of the windup, quickly press X to change your shot into a fake shot. Nice work. Let's talk to one of the best young shooters in the game about how fakes are used. Here's Florida Panthers forward Steven Weiss. Fake shot's a very crafty move. Uh, to score goals in today's game, you want to mix things up as much as possible. Uh, so you might want to come over the blue line and, and fake a big slap shot and take it around the defenseman and the goalie and you might find yourself with an empty net. Here's how the fake shot will make you a better player than NHL hits. You need every edge you can get to score on the goalies in this game. A well executed fake can freeze the goalie for a moment and improve your chances of blowing one by him. All right, let's show you how to make a fake shot pass. To do a fake shot pass, start a slap shot by holding the B button. At the top of the windup, quickly press A to make a pass instead of a shot. Excellent. That's a tough skill you've just learned. Well done. Red Wings defenseman Nick Lidstrom has done this more than a few times in his career. Using a fake shot pass can be very effective, especially on the power play. When a player's coming out trying to block the shot, you can fake it and pass it off to a player on the side for a one-timer, and you can eliminate that player too. When he goes down, you can pass it off and jump by him and get the puck back, so yeah, that can be very effective. Okay, here's how to use a fake shot pass in NHL hits. Fake shots can freeze the goalie, as you've already learned, but they can also be used to draw opposing players to you to open up the ice so you can make a pass to a teammate. If you're having trouble getting shots through to the net, try using fake shot pass to fool the other team. 
All right, now let's show you how to use the boards dump. You can pass the puck along the boards to clear the zone or to dump and chase. When your player is close to the boards, press the L button to dump the puck along the boards. See how the dump in works? You can use this skill to throw the puck around the boards in either end of the rink. This can be useful in many different situations, as Oilers defenseman Eric Brewer will explain. As a defenseman, a key component of my game is, is a boards dump. A proper boards dump gets around the back of the net past the goalie, enabling our forwards to gain speed in our attack and make a turnover in the offensive zone. Okay, let's talk about the boards dump in NHL hits. If you're having trouble carrying the puck into the zone, you can dump it in and let your forwards go after it. You can also use the boards dump to quickly throw the puck around the boards in your own end, and you can use it deep in the offensive end too. Okay, now let's show you how to block a pass. To block a pass, press and hold the L button. Your player will stay down in a blocked position until you release the trigger. To block the pass, your player must be between the puck carrier and the intended receiver. That's it. That's good defense. Great concentration. Blocking passes and preventing scoring chances are key to playing good defensive hockey. And Edmonton Oilers defenseman Eric Brewer has blocked a lot of passes in his career. Blocking passes is an, is an important aspect of the game. It helps, it helps to break plays up, but the biggest thing with, uh, with blocking passes is, is alleviating the pressure and being able to, uh, to release attention in your own zone. Um, proper uh, proper stick position and anticipation are, are the keys to it. It's just not about stepping up and, and trying to, to do things that aren't possible. It's about reading the play properly and anticipating the pass. Here are some pointers on blocking passes in NHL hits. You have to think one step ahead of the play and try to see where the puck is going to go. The game moves fast, really fast. Too fast just to react to what you see. You have to read the play and anticipate passes if you want to block them. All right, let's see how to block a shot. To attempt a shot block, press and hold the L button. Your player will stay down in a shot block position until you release the trigger. To block the shot, your player must be between the puck carrier and the net. It takes a lot of guts to throw your body in front of the puck like that. Only the toughest and most fearless players in the game are willing to do it night in and night out. Red Wings defenseman Nick Lidstrom is one of those players. Blocking shots is something you have to really time. You can't commit to a shot too early, then the player can fake it and walk around you. So time is, is really essential that you go down at the right time to block the shot. And when you go down, you have to commit and go down. You can't go halfway down and stand up again, then you might get hurt. Now here are some pointers on blocking shots in NHL hits. Blocking shots is all about timing. Drop to the ice too soon and your opponent will skate around you. Wait too long and the puck will slide underneath you. It's a tough skill to learn, but an important one to have. Every shot you block is one less save your goalie has to make. All right, let's show you how to use the short dump. To flip the puck out for a short dump, lightly tap the L button. Let's try that again. Okay, let's learn about how to use the clearing dump. To clear the zone with a dump, press the L button. Nice job. That skill is going to come in really handy when you're bottled up in your own end and need to get the puck out. Don't worry, it happens to the best of them. Red Wings defenseman Nick Lidstrom has cleared the puck out of his own end many times. When I'm looking to clear the puck out of my own end, I usually try to flip the puck over the opponent's and get it over the blue line. I don't want to ice the puck and have a face off in my own end. Especially last minute of games, you want to get the puck out, but don't ice it. Now here's how to use the clearing dump in NHL hits. Here's some advice. Don't be afraid to dump the puck and take the icing call if you've been trapped in your zone for a long time. It's a better play than just trying to shoot it out because a shot can be knocked down at the blue line. When you flip the puck out, you know it's going to get out. Icing the puck isn't pretty, but sometimes you gotta do it.